Francisco, and today I'm going to talk about the Lumerod. This is this light gathering device which brings light underneath the microscope. And this, uh, this scope is kind of old, and this one is moving. And if you move it enough, it comes out. Now they are cemented in there with the proper solvent that's used to confuse those two together, but they come loose. If you hit them hard enough, you notice that it really doesn't stick out much, so you really almost have to try for that to happen, but it happens. Now this scope has had a loose lumen rod for years, and it hasn't made any difference because it functions quite well, whether or not it's glued in. In fact, it actually functions without it, too, because most of the world is opaque and not transparent or translucent, which is where this is the, what, what this does is bring light underneath. So if you have an opaque object, it really is irrelevant. But since we have one broken here, I'm going to show you how to fix it. And we're going to use some inexpensive super glue. Don't buy the expensive stuff. Cheaper the better. Dollar store material, Kmart, something like that. Now normally I do not have to take this off to fix it. I just have to put the rod kind of where I want it, make sure it's in as far as it can go. And then I take a drop of glue and I put it somewhere where the two come in contact to each other, the rod and the plate. And I just wiggle it back and forth with the glue in there until she sets. And if that's not straight, it doesn't make any difference. It'll still work. It'll work if it's turned sideways. It's really hard to defeat this thing. And it's held on. If you need to take it off, there's a couple of screws that hold it in place. And you just uh, take it off. So I'll fix this one off of the microscope rather than on, just to show you, it hasn't been off in years. Of course I dropped the screw, I'm trying not to do that. Anyhow, let me show you. So we can see the whole structure now. This is a brand new one, this is a used one, a very used one. It just discolors slightly, but they still work. Now sometimes, when this is in place on the microscope, and I've seen this over and over again, Somebody takes a pencil and, and starts drawing on the top of the lumen rod, or whatever they do, or it gets dirty. By taking it off and taking an ordinary pencil eraser, I can scrub it clean, take off anything that's on there, kind of give it like a refurbishing. See? Nice and clean. Now, how to glue it on? Basically, make sure it's in all the way and it's kind of straight. Watch your super glue. You know how this stuff glues flush together. Put a drop in. That happened kind of quickly because it comes out quickly. You just tilt it. A new tube will just come right out of there. You don't have to do anything more than that. And make sure you put the lid back on and get it out of the way. Now, take the rod without touching where the glue is and feel it. This one's already tight. Sometimes you might have to take a couple turns on it and move it just a little bit wiggle and let that glue get in. Now this is said, I face it towards the front of the microscope, put the screws in. should let this dry because when you're putting this on, you have a tendency to put your fingers all over the thing like I just did, and I got a little glue on, the, on my thumb because I didn't wait. Don't be impatient. Let the glue set, put it back on. Only takes about a half dozen turns. Don't over tighten it because it's plastic. You're, you're screwing metal onto plastic. You just have to get it snug and no more. Flip it over. Back in business again. That's pretty much it. You take care. I'll see you later.